time to put this bad dog to sleep. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 villain versus villain fights in movies. I am unimpressed. For this list, we're looking at the best armed and unarmed battles between big bads. We'll be excluding anime and any fights where one of the contenders turns good or is an anti-hero. Since we're talking about major turns, beware of spoilers ahead. What's your favorite villain versus villain fight? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. The Facility versus Their Own Monsters The Cabin in the Woods In this horror satire, a shadowy government agency known as The Facility sends monsters they captured after innocent people. When civilians Marty and Dana manage to escape death, they sneak into the group's headquarters. They take full advantage of their break-in by letting all the monsters out of their cages. Let's get this party started. It was satisfying to see the facility staff get a well-deserved dose of karma by getting slain by their own creatures. And since the monsters come from a wide variety of horror genres, the kills are creative and memorable. In this villain versus villain melee, we may have actually been rooting for the vicious monsters to take out the ruthless humans. Oh, come on. <laughs> Number 19. Killer Frost vs. Zoom's Crew Suicide Squad – Hell to Pay Killer Frost was originally brought onto the Suicide Squad to work with villains who work for the government. But she betrays the team when Zoom's crew makes her a better offer. Unfortunately for him, he made a deal with an icy devil. Frosty, you got the wrong side! We're the good bad guys, right? God, I've been wanting to do that for a week now. As soon as Zoom lets his guard down, Frost executes two of his crew with a brutal freezing technique. Although the speedy villain tries to get away, she quickly turns him into a big popsicle. Frost's betrayal gave us a surprising and wonderfully animated twist. As an added bonus for viewers, she fights one more not-so-bad villain before dying in a gruesome way. Waller, I'll see you in hell, you dirty Number 18. Corey Cunningham vs. Michael Myers – Halloween Ends A tormented man named Corey began tempting fate when he struck an uneasy alliance with the Halloween franchise's Big Bad. For a while, the two actually seemed to make a decent deadly duo, but everything changed when Corey got a little too ambitious. When the tormented man became obsessed with the idea of wearing an iconic mask, he fought Michael for it. You got something I need. <laughs> Since the horror icon was weakened, Corey gets ahead and grabs the mask. What made their confrontation notable is the fact that Michael actually looked vulnerable. For a brief second, we thought he'd lose his bloody crown to someone else. This fight made the moment where Michael Myers returned to finish Corey off and reclaim the mask feel like a triumph. Number 17. Bounty Hunter vs. Bounty Hunter vs. Bounty Hunter Ghosted it's normally a good idea for a villain to offer a reward to capture his enemies. However, this strategy can backfire when there's too much competition. In Ghosted, protagonists Cole and Sadie are initially captured by a bounty hunter named Grandson of Sam. If it means anything, he's not the taxman. Yeah, and I'm not the Grandson of Sam. Huh? Like the Son of Sam? The serial killer? The next gen. But the villain is quickly taken out by another antagonist that calls himself the Leopard. Just when it looks like the cat-themed foe will get the prize, an enemy nicknamed God takes that villain down too. They call me the Leopard. <gasps> oh! oh my god. Called him a Leopard, but even Leopards get killed by lions, hyenas, lightning. This hilarious sequence carries a side-splitting bonus for MCU fans. While the former Captain America plays Cole, two of the MCU heroes' best friends play bounty hunters. The combination of Easter eggs and a funny premise made this villainous face-off into the movie's best scene. Gotcha, suckers. Number 16. Cypher vs. Her Personal Guards – Fast 10 when the sinister Dante wanted to use the villainous Cypher's tech and hired muscle, he did not ask nicely. Instead, he threatened to slay the loved ones of every single one of her goons. I don't play well with others. You don't have to watch who you love most die. You're looking at who I love most. You thought you could use my own move against me? I wasn't talking to you. This reversal forces Cypher to fight her own evil crew to survive. 
Since she's able to disable their guns, we're treated to a great hand-to-hand -hand brawl where the villainess is outnumbered. It's also thrilling to watch her slowly turn the tables on her enemies. All the chaos leads to a suspenseful fight between Cypher and her last man on a falling elevator. Hopefully, this great scene is just a teaser for a true villain versus villain battle between her and Dante in the future. There's a war coming. The sides are being chosen. Number 15. Suicide Squad Team 1 vs. Cordo Maltese Soldiers – The Suicide Squad While writers usually try to make audiences feel for the members of this famous DC task force, the most recent live-action film opened on a crew of mostly irredeemable villains. That's why we didn't feel bad when they wound up facing the corrupt Cordo Maltese army. Although a few members of the squad had special powers, their abilities are not effective against the soldiers. As a result, most of the team dies in hilarious and over-the-top ways. I didn't pick the damn team! And the crook that runs doesn't get very far. This uproariously hilarious battle ends with the clever twist that this team was purposely sent in to distract the soldiers. Team 2 is clear to go on the North Beach. Congratulations, Bloodsport. In the end, this clash of evil forces made for a needless yet absolutely entertaining battle. Number 14. Charles Lee Chucky Ray vs. Tiffany Valentine Ray – Bride of Chucky Before this couple had a falling out in the climax of this horror film, they didn't exactly have the best relationship. After all, Chucky was the one who trapped Tiffany's soul in the body of the doll. Protagonists Jade and Jesse took advantage of the plastic couple's bad relationship by making the villains consider each other's flaws. You were nice enough to cook for him. The least he could do was wash the dish. What are you doing? This strategy paid off when Tiffany lashed out at Chucky at a crucial moment. Unfortunately for her, a knife wasn't enough to stop her bow. The two dolls fought with shovels and their bare plastic hands in a creepy and oddly hilarious fight. Although Tiffany didn't win the deadly duel, their fight gave the human couple the opening they needed to put Chucky down for good. Number 13. King Ghidorah vs. Rodan – Godzilla, King of the Monsters Oh, I think we got his attention. Everyone strap in! Although King Kong and Godzilla have never exactly been humanitarians, they've also never really been villains at the same time. But the same cannot be said about Rodan and King Ghidorah. During King of the Monsters, they both specifically target humans. After warming up with Small Fry, the two clashed in the sky. Their awe-inspiring clash was brought to life by stunning visual effects. Each other. Although Rodan tries its best, Ghidorah completely dominates its opponent with its impressive power. This awesome battle has the bonus of rippling out and making the plot more exciting. After a brutal beating, Rodan becomes Ghidorah's minion and paves the way for a four-way kaiju battle. Number 12. Predator vs. The French Hunters – Prey After a powerful alien hunter starts a killing spree, a group of sadistic French hunters tries to capture it by offering the main heroes as sacrifices. The thing the white men are trying to catch. That's what you went out after? It's what you were tracking? Yes. As it turns out, this was one of the worst plans in human history. The Predator ignores the helpless heroes and focuses on slaughtering the hunters. Although the humans briefly manage to capture the alien, their victory is short-lived. The Predator breaks free and tears the hunters apart with brutal extraterrestrial weapons. Every time the humans try to fight back, the alien one-ups them. While we usually cringe when the Predator goes on a spree, we actually cheered for his well-shot and choreographed rampage. These sadistic hunters brought their dark fates entirely on themselves. Number 11. Wonder Woman vs. Aquaman Justice League – The Flashpoint Paradox After Wonder Woman assassinated Aquaman's wife, the two superhumans raised armies and started a world war. Their global conflict concludes with a one-on-one -on -one battle to the death. Neither the brutal Wonder Woman or bloodthirsty Aquaman give an inch in this absolutely vicious battle. It was wild to see two of DC's famous heroes clashing while they were twisted villains. You murdered my wife, Diana. 
She tried to assassinate me, Arthur. I was protecting myself. Yet you wear her helmet like a trophy. No, a warning. Although their battle is interrupted by other metahumans, Wonder Woman makes sure to finish it by giving Aquaman a fatal blow. This bittersweet yet awesome battle made us appreciate the fact that these two are not usually world-destroying villains in most universes. There will be no glorious victor, Diana. No prize. <laughs> what I do now, I do for the good of all. Number 10. Megatron vs. Sentinel Prime – Transformers – Dark of the Moon In this 2011 action fest, Optimus Prime and his allies have to deal with both Decepticons and an Autobot that turned bad named Sentinel Prime. The heroic leader manages to stop the Big Bad's evil plan. However, Optimus has a lot more trouble stopping Sentinel Prime. All seems lost before an unlikely ally enters the fray. Megatron, the Decepticon leader. Megatron believes the Earth should be his and his alone. So when he realizes Sentinel Prime might actually emerge victorious, he flies into a jealous rage and decides to personally finish off his one-time ally. This is my planet. The violent intervention gives Optimus Prime enough time to recover and eventually defeat them both. Number 9. The Ring vs. The Grudge – Sadako vs. Kayako In the red corner, we have Sadako Yamamura, a spectral girl that lives on a cursed videotape. Over in an even redder corner, we have Kayako Saiki, an angry ghost that tends to hold grudges. The two were tricked into going head-to-head -head thanks to an ambitious human plan. During their climactic fight, each spirit tries to win by using insta-kill moves. However, both Kayako and Sadako keep coming back from certain death. This masterfully tense fight kept us on the edge of our seats right until the very end. Unfortunately for the humans, the clash of the entities ends with Kayako and Sadako fusing and becoming more powerful. Well, at least the hero saw a cool fight before meeting a dark fate. <laughs> Number 8. Kylo Ren vs. The Praetorian Guard – Star Wars Episode VIII – The Last Jedi Throughout this space opera, Rey tries to pull Kylo Ren into the light while he attempts to drag her into the darkness. Their tug-of-war all comes to a head when the two end up standing before Big Bad Snoke and his Praetorian Guard. I see him turning the lightsaber to strike true. And now, foolish child, he ignites it and kills his true enemy. After being ordered to slay Rey, Kylo Ren decides to kill his boss and fight the remaining soldiers. The ensuing fight is thrilling and brilliantly choreographed. Kylo Ren showcases his talent for lightsaber combat as he takes on multiple enemies at once. While it initially looks like this will be his first step towards heroism, he resolves to remain a villain for this film. Kylo Ren's commitment to the dark side cemented the scene as a battle of two evils. We can rule together and bring a new order to the galaxy. Don't do this, Ben. Please don't go this way. No, no, you're still holding on! Let go! Number 7. The Union of Allied Planets Navy vs. Reaver Fleet – Serenity Plucky Browncoat and lead protagonist Mal Reynolds needs to run an impenetrable planetary blockade set up by the evil Union of Allied Planets so that evidence of their misdeeds can be broadcast throughout known space. But his spaceship, the Firefly-class transport ship Serenity, is hopelessly outgunned by the UAP Navy. Target the Reavers. Target the Reavers. Target everyone! Somebody fire! He finds an unorthodox solution to his problem by luring the universally feared Reaver Fleet, a berserk legion of insane cannibalistic marauders, into the blockade zone. <laughs> The two forces duke it out in an enormous life-or-death struggle, and Serenity and her crew manage to slip through in the chaos. Number 6. T-Rex vs. Raptors – Jurassic Park The heroes of this classic dinosaur film could not seem to catch a break. Boy, no head being right all the time. It was bad enough that a giant T-Rex wanted to eat them all in one bite. Just when it seemed like things couldn't get worse, the humans started getting stalked by Velociraptors. Fortunately for the heroes, the enemy of their enemy turned out to be their friend. 
The humans learn this when they get cornered by the velociraptors. At the very last second, they are saved by an angry T-Rex. The large dinosaur easily handles the velociraptors in a truly epic scene. While this scenario would later become a franchise staple, nothing can beat the first time the T-Rex proved it was the top dinosaur. Number 5. Hela vs. Surtur – Thor Ragnarok At the beginning of this Marvel action extravaganza, it looks like the legendary fire giant Surtur is going to be the movie's big bad. But Thor handles Surtur without much difficulty and brings his crown back to Asgard as a prize. What the hell is that? Later, the movie's actual main villain Hela finally gets her comeuppance thanks to that crown which contains Surtur's essence. Hela draws her strength from Asgard, and Surtur is fated to destroy Asgard. So reviving him is the obvious solution to defeating her. Sure, Asgard gets destroyed in the process, and sure, it's more of a cremation than a fight, but it's still a great villain-on-villain -villain moment. Number 4. Khan vs. Klingon Squad – Star Trek Into Darkness Genetically enhanced Superman Khan has numerous battles throughout the film to show just how much of a badass he is. But his first fight against the Klingon Emissary is a major highlight. Uhura and the crew are in a bad situation, facing down an angry patrol of Klingon warriors while trying to locate the fugitive John Harrison. The tense standoff ends suddenly when John Harrison, aka Khan, single-handedly overwhelms the Klingons with a phaser cannon and brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat, wreaking havoc and proving that he is no ordinary Starfleet officer. Number 3. Trigon vs. Darkseid – Justice League Dark – Apocalypse War If the immensely powerful demon Trigon had things his way, he would rule over Earth as a brutal dictator. Meanwhile, Darkseid aimed to dominate every planet he got his hands on. The unstoppable demonic force met the immovable space conqueror in a truly epic scene. They first clash when Trigon possesses Superman, and when the heroes eventually need to buy time to stop Darkseid, the demon agrees to fight the tyrant. And now, new god, let's see who shall rule and who shall serve. It was beyond epic to see two of DC's most iconic villains doing everything in their power to exterminate the other. The movie never determines who the ultimate victor would be. What a wonderful gift, daughter. Be well. However, we are still extremely grateful we got to see these legendary big bads come to blows. Number 2. Xenomorphs vs. Predators – Alien vs. Predator This battle was originally teased as far back as 1990's Predator 2. However, these two iconic extraterrestrial death machines of cinema finally got a chance to duke it out in 2004. Sure, the setup may feel contrived since their confrontation takes place in an ancient pyramid in Antarctica, but the battles certainly do not disappoint. The Xenomorphs even put up a stronger-than-expected fight against their technologically advanced foes, with just one Xeno taking down two Predators. And the final battle against the Alien Queen, the last Predator and some girl that, let's be honest, no one really cares about, is an epic send-off to this great confrontation. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Freddy Krueger vs. Jason Voorhees – Freddy vs. Jason This over-the-top slasher crossover pits everybody's favorite Camp Crystal Lake revenant against the world's unluckiest school janitor in a fight to the, well, defeat, if not the death. Death is kind of slippery for these two. Well, you better start thinking outside your little box, dude. Freddy starts out in control of the situation, using Jason as a tool to regain his powers. But he soon finds Jason too difficult to control, leading to a violent showdown on the Crystal Lake docks. <laughs> The final scene seems to show Jason victorious, emerging from the lake with Freddy's severed head. But then, the head winks. 
It's a fitting end for the original runs of both iconic horror series. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.